This won't stop the relentless spike in rate futures, though, right, Rob? Yeah, the Bank of England today, they've kept rates on hold. I mean, the, the economic recovery is proceeding well. I mean, we had some poor industrial production figures yesterday, but I don't think that detracts from the general uh, improvement across the board, really, in all consumer indicators, in credit supply and demand for credit. So the economy's uh, definitely on the up. The Bank of England is likely to remain on hold uh, for the foreseeable future, mm -hmm. but are likely to increase rates sometime before that late 2016 date that they've indicated. And, and, and I guess the point I'm making is rate futures seem to be spiking anyway. Uh, market seems, seems to think it's going to come early anyway. When, when do you think we're going to hit 7% on the unemployment rate, by the way? I think it's going to be Q3 2015. I think we've still got some way to go. I mean, I know it looks uh, risky given that unemployment is currently at 7.7, .7, so it doesn't look like there's that far to go. But really, that is still quite a distance to travel, particularly with the number of workers rising, with productivity improving too. I think it will still take a couple of years to get there. Um, total GDP still well below pre-crisis levels. How, how much scope do you think we've got to grow further without um, stoking, generating inflation pressures? Quite a bit, I'd say. I mean, we can't make up all of the gap between this uh, pre-crisis trend, uh, assuming that the economy haven't had a recession. We can't make up all of that huge gap. But I think the economy can grow at trend or a little bit above for two or three years, really, without stoking inflationary pressure. Um, the growth guidance debate, where, where, I mean, we, you, you've told us what you think generally. Where do you stand on that and where do you stand on Carney's first 100 days? Well, he's certainly been lucky. The economy has turned up really quickly after he took over in the summer. I mean, I think a lot of this has been building for some time, in part because of the calming in Eurozone tensions following Mario Draghi's words last summer, but also the schemes the Bank of England has put in place, like the funding for lending scheme, have really been helping. So he's been lucky. I think he's done the right thing in introducing forward guidance. I don't think it's a revolution in policy, but I think it is a helpful development. Um, don't want to sound cynical, but do you think he almost takes heart from those really nasty industrial production numbers we got yesterday. So it shows he's on the right track in a sense. Well, it does help, and I think it does help in terms of uh, the idea that rates are going to stay on hold for some time. It, it doesn't help the wider economy, of course, to have production falling. But I think what it does really emphasise is that the recovery is not going to be smooth and extremely rapid. And it's unlikely to go at the pace that the super strong PMIs are pointing to right now. I think this is going to be gradual. We're going to have some ups and downs around a trend, and it will take a long time for the UK to return to really full health.